spring season is here in our area, but there are some rules and regulations you might not know about here in New York. And now we turn to our 18 meteorologist, Austin Evans, who's live in the studio with more on how you can stay out of trouble. Austin. Good evening. Thank you, Janae. Thank you, Zach. We are in the middle of boating season, and it is important to know how to stay safe on the beautiful lakes and rivers in the Twin Tiers, as well as avoid trouble with the law. There may be some rules and regulations that many don't know about, especially for non-motorized non watercraft like canoes and kayaks. I spoke with Jim Pfeiffer from Friends of the Shimon River, as well as acting Shimon County Sheriff Bill Shrum, to get some tips on how you can stay safe on the water. Between November 1st and May 1st, if you're in that boat, you have to wear a life preserver, be it an adult or not. All other times, you have to have a Coast Guard approved life vest in the boat, um, accessible for everyone in the boat. If you're 12 or under, you have to be wearing a life vest. First of all, I think it's been very important that we've partnered with the Friends of uh, Shimon River Friends, as well as the Department of Environmental Conservation. So we've taken a little bit more of a proactive approach this year, visiting some of the boat launches to ensure that people are boating safely. That's our primary goal. Sheriff Shrum said that the fines and penalties associated with being caught without proper safety equipment would be up to the judge the person sees. Both Pfeiffer and Sheriff Shrum expressed the vital importance of actually wearing your life vest rather than just having it in the vessel. For now, reporting in the studio, Austin Evans, 18 News. All right, Austin.